Alright, yeah. More of um, Lydia's live, Chris, well, Soundgarden. I'm not sure if the other one's Soundgarden, I think it might be actually. But yeah, this is early doors too, again. 1990. So yeah, this is going to be mental. But yeah, big dumb sex. I do know this one. This one I do know. But yeah, let's go. This is your chance. This is your big chance to tell the band to fuck off. Come on, you can do better than that. We talk shit to you people every song. Little of this too. Come on. Oh, Chris with guitar. Right, I've been listening to Chris a lot recently, um, especially, well, mainly the Temple of the Dog album. He has definitely got, for all his hard rock kind of vibe and music, he's got soul. Like, he has the ability to pull out them kind of almost like R&B, and I mean old school R&B, not do you know what I mean? What people call R and B now? I mean, like, yeah, your Marvin Gaye's and Otis Redding's. He has that kind of ability, and he did th that bit there. I don't know what to do. Like that's so catchy and so like, yeah. Take that from this and put it on a Motown backing. That's a Motown like type of thing. It's interesting watching this. This is fun, especially from listening to like, yeah, like like I say, the Temple of the Dog, where his voice is not as high as this. And you can hear where, like almost like in his throat where he's singing from, he's singing high. And it's just literally almost like changing a gear down in a car. Just drop that gear down and then it's, 
yeah, seasons or whatever. But yeah, I just thought that was, I find that with him very soulful as well. As much as his rock, it's got a lot of like soul type vibe. James Brown. Yeah, and it's nice to see Chris play guitar. That is a kind of rare treat, what it is for me anyway. Like, you don't see him play, especially in the younger ones. We watched the, like, half-hour um, set of theirs. I don't think, I think only, like, on a maybe one or two, he has guitar at the end. But, yeah, it's nice to see him play. Because he can play too, like. I think that's another thing that gets forgotten about him is that he can play his ass off too. But yeah, that's just a great tune because it's just so... There's a punk, definite punk thing to it, but it's just... It's so juvenile to write a song that says, I, I know what to do. I'm gonna fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes. But the thing is as well, like as juvenile as it is, it's so hard. The riff on it is hard. Like just the whole track is hard. But I wonder if this has got to be up there for the most amount of times fuck has been said on a record, surely. But yeah, we got one more Chris from Lydia. But yeah, that's the reaction. So we. <laughs> 